Okay, this is gonna be a short video on uh, expo uh, exponential uh, decay. Okay, <clears throat> so we start out, we wanna find the horizontal asymptote. Okay, and we do that. All right, it's just gonna be y equals three for the horizontal asymptote. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Straight across here. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna make a table. All right, all right, I got uh, zero, one, two, negative one, negative two. I'm gonna do two to the x, not two to the negative x. Two to the x, two to the zero is one. Two to the first is, uh, is two. Two to the second is four. This would be one half. This would be one fourth, okay? Now, I normally solve the inside. So I set negative x equal to zero. That's gonna be x equals zero. I'm fine there, okay? Now, I wanna find the interval which that's one divided by the number attached to x, and this is where the decay comes in. <clears throat> one divided by negative one is negative one. So what I wanna do is I wanna go, uh, I wanna add negative one, and this way I wanna subtract negative one. And so in essence, I'm adding this way, subtracting that way. So uh, <clears throat> that's gonna be uh, negative one, okay? That's going to be negative two. That's still going to be zero, okay? That's going to be one, that's going to be two, okay? All right, so if I plot those points, zero over, um, oh, then I gotta change the y values, and I'm gonna change the y values by adding three. So uh, point, uh, 0.25, uh, that's what that is, that'd be now 3.25, be a half plus three would be 3.5, uh, one plus three is four, two plus three is five, four plus three is seven. Okay, so negative two over, seven up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then um, negative one over five up, zero over four, uh, one over 3.5, two over 3.25. And so what happens with this one is what you have is a decay, okay? It's growing down. We'll get, we'll get to the applications of this later, okay? So if I'm labeling my arrows, that's a right arrow, and it's leveling off at three. This is a left arrow going up. So my domain, smallest x to biggest x, negative infinity, infinity. My range, okay, is three to infinity, okay? All right, curve bracket because it comes from the asymptotes. If I start from the left, this is decreasing the whole way from negative infinity to infinity. This is none. Okay, so what are my transformations? All right, I have a uh, shift up of three. All right, and I have a, um, uh, I have a, uh, a horizontal stretch negative one, okay, and that's what that accounts for there, okay, all right, let's do another one, all right, so I got this one, all right, so my, uh, my horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals negative one, so right here, okay, so what I would do is make my table, I got uh, zero, one, two, negative one, negative two, that's three to the x, I don't need the, all the other numbers, Okay, three to the zero is one, three to the first is three, three squared is nine, so one third, one ninth, okay? All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna solve the inside. So that's negative two x equals negative four, that's x equals two. Okay, then what I wanna do is I wanna find the interval which is one divided by the number attached to x, which is negative one half, okay? So what I wanna do is it's gonna be, I'm gonna subtract one half that way, add one half uh, the other way. So this is gonna be 1.5, this is gonna be one, this is gonna be 2.5, this is gonna be three, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract one by all of those, so that's gonna be eight, two, zero, um, point, uh, uh, one divided by three is 0.3 minus one is negative 0.7. One divided by nine 
is 0 0.1 uh, minus 1 is negative 0.8. Okay, well, uh, actually, hold on. 1 divided by 3, 1 third uh, minus 1, negative 0.6 repeating, sorry. Okay, so at 1 over, I'm at 8 up. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At um, 1.5 over, I'm at um, 2 up. At um, 2 over, I'm at 0 up. At 2.5, I'm at negative 0.6. And at uh, 3, I'm at negative 0.8. So here's what my graph looks like here, leveling off, okay? So that is a right arrow leveling off at negative infinity. This is a left arrow going up. So my domain is negative infinity to infinity. My range, smallest y is negative one, biggest is infinity. This is decreasing the whole way from negative infinity to infinity. This is none. Okay, what are my transformations? Shift down one. Okay, horizontal stretch of negative two. Go ahead and try these, okay? That will conclude the graphing portion.